Howdy guys, Jimmy Song here. In this video, I'm going to talk about another thing I have as a wish list on uh, for BTC. Um, and hopefully this is something that happens in 2019, but who knows if it will or not. Uh, but it's just something that I wish existed for Bitcoin. Uh, this may be a good business idea if you uh, if you are pursuing that path. But this is this is the thing that I would like to see is open source hardware wallet for Bitcoin. Right now, a lot of the hardware wallet designs are proprietary, and uh, we don't know exactly the hardware that's used and how it's used. There haven't been necessarily security audits by independent researchers to see whether or not they're vulnerable or not. So I would like to see an open source hardware wallet. Now, to be fair, there are some companies that are working on this. Um, a former student of mine, Stepan Snigarev, is working on an open source hardware wallet um, that's maybe even Lightning compatible. But something like that would be very useful because you would know exactly where the security vulnerabilities are. Um, watching uh, the entire wallet.fail video and how they can extract seeds from a seized hardware wallet um, basically is, is not that great because you're, you're, you're uh, transferring possession into the hands of you know whoever possesses that piece of hardware. Um, so I would like it to have more protections, um, maybe some sort of two-factor on the hardware. Um, I mean, they're, they're supposed to have it with the pin and so on, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really work because uh, uh, apparently it's stored in RAM somewhere or I, I, I don't know, some, some, some place in the memory of that uh, Trezor device or Ledger device. So I, I would like to see open source hardware where uh, um, things like that can get security audited by independent researchers and so on. Um, uh, I, uh, in the end, hopefully th this becomes sort of like a standard. Uh, right now, I think the best security thing that you can do is some sort of air gap machine. Um, but that's very painful and it is not easy to use and it's not very user friendly and so on. So some sort of solution here where you don't have to do all of that or, you know, like even worse, something like the Glacier protocol or something like that would be would be ideal and i think it would help with uh using bitcoin as a store of value hopefully that helps you that's on my wish list for bitcoin this song is